you know, we had two different groups today where, you know, we're spacing and um, <clears throat> so that was different. And, and, you know, I, I always try to just go up there and, you know, have an idea of what I want to say, certainly, but then just go and, but trying to keep it consistent for two groups, um, you know, the second time didn't feel quite as good, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> you know, we had to go through a lot of health and safety um, protocols. So that was pretty time consuming this morning. So I was fairly brief, um, you know, five or seven minutes or so of, you know, just some things that I really wanted to hit on for us uh, as we as we get rolling here. Beyond what your normal message is to them about competing for a championship, you, know, you had a, you know, a certain unknown last year where you kind of plowed through this in 60 games. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to ward off quarantine fatigue for eight months, what are some of the things that you can kind of build into this to keep that from happening and, and keep this team focused on what you're trying to accomplish? Yeah, um, you know, <clears throat> keeping the expectations um, very high um, is one way and, and knowing that that carrot's out there, knowing that we have a group of guys that by and large, um, you know, have experienced a lot of success but a lot of disappointment too. And, and so the, one of the things I feel like we have going and have had going for us is, is a hunger with this group. So, um, you know, we haven't gone through this in 162 in this kind of scenario in a pandemic. Um, so there'll be challenges along the way. Um, but those will be things that, you know, as spring unfolds, as the season unfolds, as we continue to learn how to live and exist and thrive in this environment, um, you know, we'll evolve with it. And, and with that is the challenge of, of making sure we are, have the right kind of focus to survive the long haul.